that is always going to be annoying yeah okay so like I said this hole is gonna peg onto that peg and it's a real this is where it's I think the the tightness of it is uh, a little <coughs> a bit of a bad thing this is on way too tight uh, yeah it just feels like it's gonna break it it's like it's like I gotta put too much force onto this so but it goes on all the way and it's not gonna go anywhere it's on there tight the connection is still the same though into the shoulder and that's one disappointment with this set because it doesn't offer any um, like gun it joints you know where they can move their chest in and out like that uh, that's one arm put it on and then the other hand is this one and this is the trigger finger I lost this one but since this is the hand I choose to hold the gun uh, you don't even notice it so yeah I just leave it like this it's so sad for this guy it just same thing there's a hole over here see that it just plugs in there nothing spectacular with this but you can see with this one there's no rotation because the treads are blocking the arm from going up and down so the only articulation he's going to have is the original one which was connected at the shoulder then he's going to have that awkward sideways elbow uh, and you can't even readjust the arm to make it look any natural anything natural because it's only going to be like that there's no rotating part, stupid. Okay, so let's connect it onto the body. Okay, so uh, that took a while and I had to do a little bit more finagling to get him to stand up straight. So here he is with his torso properly connected, properly connected, and his arms connected. This guy is very delicate. Uh, it's very hard to move him and he could barely stand on his own main issue with trying to get him I don't know there's a lot of issues let's start off from the top uh, like I said this headpiece uh, connected to this it's not a very good connection at all it uses it barely uses any friction to hold it so if you try to adjust anything it's gonna slide right out or break and then moving over to the shoulders with the extra weight of these arms it's near impossible to get any kind of proper uh, or any good articulation out of this thing this side is okay because you know how uh, his joint is it's it ratchets every 45 degrees and it actually holds that's why I use this side for uh, gun display uh, however on this side it doesn't even want to stay down straight uh, that's where this weird elbow joint comes in a little bit it makes it stay like that <coughs> uh, but when you try to point it forward or anything like that oh well if it's loose on yours which I know a lot of them are this would come off uh, yeah it's not it, well when the guns in there it doesn't hold uh, and if you do try see it's just so floppy that you can't even have the gun in a good pose without his elbow being all cockneyed sideways uh, the legs mm, they don't help at all if you look at the heels it's still the same they haven't changed anything so he has the hardest time standing up on his own see like it's impossible you gotta have him at a chicken angle chicken leg angle which I don't really mind too much but if it bothers you that's definitely something you have to watch out for and like I said with the head part not having a proper connection not having a proper connection point uh, you can see it's it's gonna be a hard time trying to even out the distance between this side and this side so I have to shift it over this way later I'm not going to do that now on camera it's that's just suicide uh, 
this piece down here connects down to a uh, scrapper it's really loose so he moves around too much it's just gonna pop right out like that it's not a very good connection it feels like it is but in practice it's not that great um, I gotta say this isn't a very good upgrade set it looks great but it's a piece of crap now here's the final piece almost uh, the chest plate it's near de near nearly identical to the original with these three holes being there but then this part the little clip that connects up here it's not there it's there but it's not uh, carved into so that it grips but when you actually put it on it looks like there's not enough space for it to clip on anyway so this is kind of useless let's put this on I usually put it on the top one, on the top hole. But it's a good sized hole because it holds the peg really well. And it's not going to go anywhere unless you really want it to. It's got enough friction in it to just hang there by itself and not really fall off. But uh, yeah, I'm not... Currently, I'm not leaning him against anything, but normally I would have to. He's so back heavy. And I know that people were saying that these legs, they don't have a support anymore. So they usually just flop out. I guess if your long haul's uh, bed is, is loose, the legs would flop around, but mine doesn't. It, it stays like this. And I just like leaving the top of the truck up against his neck to help support it. If it helps at all. Um, yeah, for now, here I'll just put his gun in his hand. And it does rotate to the side, so his hands can't hold the gun for his life. So it just rests there. you're going for that kind of look like this kind of look which I, I do it works if it if you're just going to keep them this way there's no way you could pose them in any other way I've been fiddling around with them for a day and a half now and nothing this is near best of what I can do those pictures um, you see him standing on one leg you see him holding up other figures there's no way this thing can do it but that's not why I got it. I got it for something like this. This is how I display most of my figures. And the only real... I like them just standing there. Uh, arms at their sides looking menacing. But this guy I'm going to put... Little Optimus in his hand. And I did this yesterday. And it holds him fairly well. And he actually holds him up. Here, I'll try now. Not sure if it's going to work but I don't know how I did it either like just flayed out his fingers like that I put the thumb away and just like let Optimus just chill in here like that and I close his fist around him enough so that the friction holds the fingers in place and uh holds them like a little trophy I don't see I don't know how I did this yesterday yesterday he was like sticking out like this oh no that's right I didn't bend it there I bent it up there and he holds them like that see I didn't bend it at um scrap scavenger I bent it at the actual elbow See, on this side, there's actually space to do that. On this side, since the treads are there, you can't do this. That's why on this hand, I put Optimus, and this hand, I put the gun. So yeah, this is... <coughs> excuse me. This is how I'm forever going to display him. 
just like this or something similar maybe with some world's smallest Transformers Dinobots or just Optimus like this because over here I have Predaking with Megatron on this thing I'm gonna have Optimus with Devastator and it, it this set definitely looks amazing if you leave it at that uh, it's it's definitely a cheap alternative to Crazy Devies but I don't know it's it's if you really are desperate for an upgrade kit that looks phenomenal sure go ahead but if you're just passing by I say it's an easy pass but if you really want it go for it if not if you're not really hardcore wanting this thing then pass it up definitely get something better like make toys I'm thinking of getting the other Devastator the giant he's one that I really want I wanted to have my knockoff next to this guy next to um, make toys giant and I think he's gonna be the next one I'm gonna get I'll display all three of them together like this and then yeah eventually I'm gonna get battle tanker for reveal the shield G2 Optimus Prime that thing is beautiful and I think that would have been a much better investment than this guy so if you want it TF Source has them over in stock they have fast shipping they have really safe shipping they make sure their packages arrive safely uh, great guys they're really nice shot them an email before <laughs> responded quick and nicely yeah it's a great add-on just for looks don't ever touch them all right if you have any questions that I forgot to go over just shoot me an email or comment below and uh, I'll surely get back to you all right take care oh yeah wait there's one thing I forgot wow the LED switch on the back of his head totally forgot about that see this is one thing too um, in their Facebook pages and all their promo pics they have it angled from a side shot like this but if you get it straight on you could see it only lights up his right side uh, his right eye is the only one that's lit up it's because the LED inside isn't centered I'm thinking of uh, unscrewing it because there's a screw in the back and just rearranging it adding another LED and closing it up but who knows okay that's it take care guys